what is physiology i'm going to answer this using an analogy between a computer and a human body a computer is made up of parts like a monitor cpu and a keyboard an expert who studies these computer parts is called as an hardware engineer similarly human body is made up of parts organs like brain heart kidneys and so on and a person who studies the structure of these organs is called as an anatomist how a computer will function is determined by the codes written in its operating system similarly the function of human organs are decided by the genetic codes in its genome the genome is a collection of all the genetic information in an organism which directs how the body must work let us consider an example one of the function performed by the computer in front of you now is playing this video and this function is an outcome of multiple underlying processes like downloading the video decoding it producing the output to the screen and the speakers and so on if you open the task manager you will see the list of processes running at all the time similarly one of the functions performed by your body now is watching this video and this function is made possible by hundreds of underlying processes like visual transduction and visual processing auditory transduction and processing comprehension memory and so many other functions at any point of time your organs also performing so many functions like breathing digestion and so on and each function involves hundreds of coordinated processes the focus of human physiology is to understand this function and the processes responsible for it human physiology is the study of functions in the living system it is the simplest answer the aim of physiology is to understand the underlying mechanisms or to explain the processes which is responsible for the function in other words physiologists try to answer how the cells organ the organ system work and how they interact with each other to produce a function at an organism level what is the word origin you might have found the resemblance between the word physics and physiology isn't it there is a reason for that the word physiology can be traced back to ancient greek words physis and logos which means nature and philosophy respectively philosophy or study natural philosophy is the precursor of the natural science and the natural sciences deals with study of all natural phenomena existing in the universe both the living things and the material universe so both the physics and physiology are part of natural sciences physics deals with the material universe and the physiology deals with the function within the living system the study of all life phenomena is called as the biology and a branch of biology which studies the logic of life is the physiology and the physiologists are trying to answer hows and the whys of biology the term physiology itself was coined by a french physician jean fanel who suggested it as to be physiologia in french which is in english physiology levels of organization in this physiology course we are going to study function at various levels of organization for example some topics like membrane transport will be at the cellular level and some topics like uh, peristalsis will be at the level of tissue level like a smooth muscle tissue and some topics like gastric emptying will be at the organ level and the functions like digestion will be studied at an organ system level and some functions like say glucose homeostasis is studied at an entire organism level which involves multiple organ systems in this course the chapters are divided according to the organ system and our major focus will be on organ level functions and the organ system levels though we are going to discuss some of the integrated functions also in this course we are going to focus on the concepts which are essential for understanding medicine this branch is called a medical physiology and it is the foundation for modern medicine when a human body deviates from its normal function it's called as a diseased state a pathological state the aim of medicine is to bring back the body from a diseased state back to its normal physiology that is why the study of medicine begins with the study of its foundation that is medical physiology 
physiology is an experimental science all our knowledge of physiology comes from experimentation and mainly animal experiments research in physiology advances our understandings of detailed mechanisms that control and regulate behavior in our human body claude bernard is considered as the father of modern physiology he is the one um, who is known for promoting the experimentation in medical sciences he also gave the concept called as maintenance of stable internal environment and that is the topic for our next lecture thanks for watching and if you have any doubts don't hesitate to communicate it to me stay tuned for further lectures thank you